listening, Park Church family. Thanks for taking this time to join with me tonight for your midweek pastor's moment. It's January the 19th. It's a cold uh, day again today, but take heart. We're really almost through this winter. It's what we always think about as the days are getting longer. Um, But at this time of year, beautiful uh, sunrises. Uh, So I encourage you, you don't have to get up very early this time of the year to enjoy the sunrise. Are you picking up on the theme over the past couple weeks on Sundays? Two weeks ago, we had a guest speaker from the RAN network for um, those people that uh, they work with those in, in some of the most unreached places on the planet, the darkest places on earth, some would say it has nothing to do with um, their economic growth or their access to electricity, but the places that have the least gospel witness or known Christian witness, the places where the light of Jesus has yet to shine. And those that work with the RAN network go into these restricted nations and they really seek to spread the light of Jesus. And we were grateful for Gordon Dick to be able to introduce our speaker as Gordon works in training and sending out global workers into the RAN network. It's an incredible work uh, that we're partnering with um, Jeff in. Then this past Sunday, we had our global worker Jordan Dobush with us in person to share about his amazing testimony of how God has physically healed him that he was medevaced essentially out of Malawi. And when he arrived in Calgary at the Foothills Hospital, he had three doctors look him over and scan him and say that nothing uh, was wrong. And it was really because, as Jordan said, Jesus showed up on the plane ride and touched his body and and healed him. And you might remember that uh, just a few years ago, we sent a container along with a team to Malawi full of goods. And now there's another container being packed in our drossing that we hope uh, to be a part of in sending over there and and blessing the ministry of Bridge to Malawi. You see, missions is in our DNA. Jesus said, go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. Missions is not something that we can ever get away from or slack on, become lax about. It's always going to be at the forefront because we believe in this mission and calling. I love Isaiah uh, 6 and 8 when Isaiah hears the voice of the Lord saying, he says, whom shall I send and who will go for us? And you might remember Isaiah's cry. He says, here am I, send me. And and I heard an incredible truth about this on on a podcast I was listening to recently. And and the, the real root meaning of the word in that phrase is, my answer is yes before you even ask. Uh, Isn't that incredible about the heart of those who who respond to the call of God? My answer is yes before you even ask. I'm in a posture of yes. I'm in a posture to be obedient. I'm ready to do your will, Lord. And it's incredible. Uh, On Monday, it actually marked something we need to celebrate together as a church. It marked 10 years since Ian and Tiffany Rowley landed in Cambodia. And really, Park Church, you sent them out. Uh, Ian grew up here and his parents, his sister, they're still here. He, he's part of our family and we sent them out and they've been faithfully building a ministry, sowing into students' lives, raising up leaders in Cambodia for a decade now. Uh, that's incredible, incredible faithfulness. It hasn't been without its challenges, but they've persevered and they're really seeing amazing fruit And so uh, we're just so proud of them and we congratulate them. And you should do so too. Uh, You should like their page on Facebook and just uh, reach out to them and bless them and encourage them today. And you know what? They're not done. They're not finished. Even after 10 years, God is still birthing in them new vision. And you might remember the incredible contribution that you helped with of $100,000 last year to go towards their building project, their new student center in the heart of Phnom Penh. And we were able to raise $50,000 that was matched by one of our TPCers, another $50,000 to go towards that project. And then in God's timing, they got a steal of a deal on the land. And we look forward to the development 
development plans uh, so that we might be able to continue to journey and partner with them because there's more to come. And you know, truthfully, Park Church, we partner with the highest caliber global workers and organizations, the best of the best, the cream of the crop. And, uh, and you know, we are really just proud of what you do for global missions. Now, like I said, it was a pattern uh, that I hope you picked up on. And so this coming Sunday, we have Shiloh Youth Ranch that's going to give us a brief update. Cameron Bush is going to talk about working through the restrictions as they work with at-risk youth um, uh, through camps and mentoring. Our Momentum Student Ministry uh, partners and collaborates with Shiloh in their summer camps. And uh, we actually had them here in our building this past uh, summer due to uh, rainouts, and we were able to offer offer our gym to their camp. So they do basketball camps and summer camps and the Park Church even bought a chuck wagon uh, for them to sleep in a number of years ago through their camp. So that's coming up this coming Sunday. And then the following Sunday, we'll have Lori Patrick here from Adira to highlight what's happening for women struggling with addiction. Adira is, a, again, a local partner. We had two global workers, now we have two local partners. Um, and they're doing an amazing work there. Our Women's Together Ministries have partnered and collaborated with them uh, several times in raising awareness for them, their profile, meeting needs that come up. And so we're so grateful. And these are the people that have answered the call, who will go for me and whom shall I send? And you know what? We want to continue to stand with them and stand behind them. And so Pastor Colin had introduced it uh, on Sunday, but I want to remind you about our Faith Missions Pledge. Uh, and we're highlighting it all this month, and you're going to get a Faith Missions Pledge card this coming Sunday. You can pick one up at the Welcome Center from any of our ushers or greeters, and you should take that and don't just tuck it away and file it like we do with kids' drawings and colorings that come home from school or when you used to get church bulletins and you know you tuck it away in your Bible just for a little while and then you go through later and just file them under G as my dad would say no take it and pray about it pray what God would have you be involved in to what degree it's a faith pledge because as I'm sure many of you are it's been tight for a lot of people this year and there are things in your budget perhaps that you would like to buy or dream about but what about investing in the dream of God and the vision of God that he has for his global work in his kingdom whether it's 20, 50, 100, $200 weekly or monthly, and then commit to that for the year. See how faithful God can be in continuing to bless you and bring increase to what you have as you sow into this work. And Tithely is a great way to make your missions pledge systematic and automatic. Uh, it just does it every single month uh, when you plug it in there. And you know what? You'll really be encouraged. We want to be able to keep and expand our missions commitments and make room for the vision that God has, vision like Ian and Tiffany have in Cambodia. And we believe in the mission of God and the calling, even on people in our own church that are being called out, like Victoria Alder, who's serving in New Zealand. She got called in there with YWAM, and she's doing a great work, and it's really in her heart, and we stand with her and stand behind her. So as our pledges continue to come in, uh, we have many commitments that we want to, are a part of, but we want to be able to give our yes when our global workers come and they have projects and needs like we took up for Jordan recently, we want to be able to give our yes, yes before you even ask, because we know we have an amazing community and family standing behind the work of God and the mission of God all over the world. So we want to say yes and amen to all that God has in store. So pray about that, take one, and uh, be really systematic in your giving. A couple of uh, quick announcements. This past Sunday, we did something for the first time. We had a selfie Sunday. And uh, not everybody participated, let's be honest. Now, Park Church Online family, you can send us your selfie as well. Take a picture of your household and text it to us at 587-600-1905. Uh, it's a inter internal directory that we keep. And uh, as we said, you're not just a filling a seat. You're not just a view. We want to know your name and your family and journey with you. And we'd love to put a face to the names 
uh, many of your children have grown up, grown older, moved out. And uh, so we just want to update that. And so send us your family selfie. And if you're here on Sunday, do it uh, around the building in the foyer at one of our selfie stations. Really fun. And you can send them to us all this month. Pick up a family info form as well and update your contact information. Saturday is a men's breakfast, nine o'clock here in the fellowship hall. It's individually portioned. Men, come on out. It's only eight bucks. You won't get a better meal at a cheaper price. And not only are we going to fill your stomach, but we're going to fill your soul and have some fellowship together. Finally, Sunday night is prayer summit. It's one hour prayer meeting. We begin with worship. We have a continuing teaching. I've been teaching on prayer uh, since September as we've faithfully been having a prayer summit every single month. This Sunday, teaching on faith, obedience, and prayer. So I encourage you to come out, uh, pray with one another, pray for the needs that we have. We desire to be a house of prayer, and so we have to make prayer a priority. So uh, take the time. Child care is provided, so we expect to see you there. Have a great week. I'll see you soon.